Um, but this one should be good. We will see. My headphones looks weird, but whatever. Twitch. Oh, um. okay. Um, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just waiting for my thing to end so I can check the mic and stuff. I think it's fine. It's just the audio is a bit low. So let's increase that. Oops. All right, that should be good. Cool guys, what's going on? Thursday night stream, can't believe it's Thursday already. We are learning, we are get we are we are moving along. Uh, it's been almost a year since I started to learn to code. Um, haven't been as consistent like a year, but maybe only spent like six months actually learning. So, but we're making progress. That's what that matters. All right, let's move on. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so. We were doing some Replit node and, and express setup yesterday. Yeah, we're halfway through that. Okay, let's, uh, let's open it up. Gotta be this one, right? Downloading files. All right, so what did we do yesterday? We were looking at, oh my God, the screen's so bright. It's kind of hot. All right. So yesterday we looked at um, package of JSON and adding all of these stuff, dependencies. And then we were looking at serving up files. I don't quite recall what the name of that was. There we go. Um, Yeah, 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 I remember that, okay. All right, so we'll move on. I think this one's done, right? The JSON thing. The the one that we have running right now should. So if we take this and then add JSON to it, it should return the message, which was added here. I have completed this challenge. Let's go. 
Um, okay, so the next thing is use the environment file. Actually, this is not as bright as I would like it to be. Okay, very cool. Can we make can we make um, reflet like dark mode? There has to be a setting, right? How do we change? settings all right let's go to profile hopefully it doesn't show anything there let me let me pull it up pull up here real quick wait it doesn't have the setting that's so odd doom doom Wait, 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 wait. So do you change it directly in one of the... In here? Ah, there we go. There we go. Dark mode enabled. All right. All right, now we're talking. That hurts my eyes so much less. ready to get this party going um all right what's next so you use the .env file the env file is a hidden file that is used to pass environment variables to your application this file is secret no one but you can access it but it can be used to store data that you want to keep private or hidden for example you can store api keys okay you can also use it to store configuration options uh, by setting by setting configuration options. You can change the behavior of the application without the need to rewrite some code. All right. The process.env object is a global node object, and variables are passed as strings. By convention, the variable names are uppercase, not the um, There cannot be any spaces around equal signs. Now uh, you're signing to. Okay. Hmm. So, what are we doing? We are going. Just create an .env file in the root of your project. And here somewhere. So I'm going to add a file. .env. Um, 
I guess I need to give it a name, right? Um, and we'll just call it take env .emc. All right, there's the file. using Replay, you cannot create an MV file. Instead, use the built-in secrets tab. So that's not it. Built-in secrets tab, what? Secrets tab. Oh, this one here, yeah, okay. All right. EMV file, what's the value? Does it matter what value I put in? Probably not. I'm just going to use one, two, three, four, five. So part of that is done, and then it wants me to now, in the JSON get root handler, you create in the last challenge, which is this one. Transform the response object message to uppercase. Transform the response. So what, do, do I need to write like an if statement or what? How does that work? Create a .env file, which is which is done because we use a secrets um, thing. What I don't understand is... Hmm. 
maybe it's just um, like an if statement. If like something like that, if process.env dot message style equals uppercase I need to store the variable here. That's what did wrong, All right? So we go back to the secrets. Oh. I think this is what I'm doing, right? So that's the variable name, and then I'm going to equal it to uppercase. And then I guess I'll check that in here, because you can get the... So if that equals... Uppercase is probably a string. Do I have to manually do this or what? Um, is this just like a normal function? I mean, can I do... I can add a function in there. Um, depending on the message style. Yeah, so the only way to do that would be to have some kind of conditional statement. Uh, which would require... I have no idea, like... So what I'm thinking is we're gonna do some kind of if statement and then if process... I guess my secret is enough, right? Because it's already equal to that. Um, hang on. Let's comment that out. I'm just gonna do a thing. So applicate JSON function here 
and then maybe oh yeah maybe yeah, yeah we can add an if statement here if my secret hopefully my secret will work equals 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 so if it equals uppercase return res dot json I should probably make it dynamic instead of like hard coding it, but I want to see if it works. Uh, Ritz JSON. Um, kind of, right. Oh, we need to treat the message bit. Right, and then maybe else return to this, but. Um, lowercase yeah maybe maybe that will work so the how do you test it can you run it again okay I broke it doesn't like something unexpected to oh what is that why is that there Still doesn't like it. Hey, that works, um, but I do not know. Oh, I know how to check. So we go here and then we put JSON. My secret is not defined. Okay, so my secret doesn't work. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Hey, look at that, that worked. Um, and then if I change, I can't, can I change my secret file? Oh man, where is it? Oh, there we go. Got it, skip. Oh, it won't let me edit the file? What the? Okay, let's see if this passes the test. I mean, that should have worked. It won't even let me delete the existing secret files.
Oh, there we go. Um, I said I just made something random by ABCD. Then this here should work. Why does that not want to work? <clears throat> Oh, there we go. A, B, C, D. All right. So that, so that kind of works. So, okay. So we're going to say const A and B bar, E and bar equals that. That should what broke? What did I break? Oh, okay. Yep, okay. Um let's change this. Actually no, let's leave it like that. And then we're gonna do a little function here. Um hang on. Should probably move this lot. To the top of the document. Uh, we can get rid of that as well. So if th if this equals uppercase, then return that. Else, return this. I mean, logically that makes sense to me. But let's see if it likes it or not. We couldn't find something. All right, let's just try again. It should be. Should be good now. Hey, look at that, there we go. So that's uh, small letters. So now if I make this uppercase, save and refresh this page. No. Oh, this music sucks, dude. 
Uh, we're gonna go back to melee. Why didn't that work? Wait, why can I not use um, ternary operator here? Okay, maybe not. I thought that would work, man. I'm not sure why. So if it equals uppercase, oh, what was the problem? It was just missing one of these. Um, why doesn't that not work? Can you not add functions? Like, oh, hang on. I think it's just returning that. I don't think the if statement is working. Um, because if I go to my message, it changes to, you know, because one free, right? 
so it should no longer match. Yes, it's still uppercase, so it's definitely not working. Um, okay, I've spent enough time on this. Let's look at a get, let's get a hint. It's not productive to kind of just try and figure this out. Oh wow. So so I'm not returning that, but what I'm returning hard code it like that so that would have to be the the message in here I'm not meant to um Can I add a variable to the key value pair? Um Then the problem is I'm, I'm gonna start over. Dude, it's so weird that frozen error, but this does.
Okay. Um, so that one works. Let's try again. So that message equals. Okay. Let's see if this works with the variable in place by refresh. Okay, yep. So that works. So what we need to then do is if Ian var, which is the environment variable, if that equals case then res equals message dot two uppercase right so we insert every single character in the string to uppercase if otherwise we don't do anything and then what we're doing is yeah yeah, that makes sense to me. But apparently it doesn't work. The response of the endpoint should change according to the environment variable message underscore style. I mean... Can I even do that? I don't think I can do that. Oh, maybe it is work. Okay, so we can change that to uppercase. Um, just give it time to propagate, I guess. No. res.json is not a function i mean that's meant to be ref all right whatever let's do let's do converted message
Oh, no, I can just, I can just do that, right? I don't think this is necessary, but... Does that pass? I think that should pass. No. I mean, it, it worked. So if I change this to something else, and then try this, it should not be lowercase. Unless it isn't. Um, There we go. Okay, this might be it then. No. Oh, I am uppercase. All right. Oh, I am lowercase. Okay. I mean, the dysfunction of that you works. Um. Oh, 
Oh, do you know what the problem is? I haven't defined response. Okay, I think that... I want to say that was the issue. Still no. What? Okay, so I'm getting hello chaser. Oh, oh, because I added this. Maybe that's why the test is failing. So now that should be capital. Should be all caps. Man, what am I missing? I have no idea why this doesn't work like <laughs> Study yo Is there a delay? Yo. Just got a placeholder. Like, I'm wondering if this this thing is. I mean, that's a string. It's not really a variable, but very variable. So, but that shouldn't have any effect, right? Okay, uh, and then we'll do this. Okay, doesn't like something. Message is not defined. Uh, message, okay. This was meant to be respond. Hmm, placeholder now. Hello, Jason. Um, so 
uppercase, dude. It should be... Oh. Okay, I know what I did wrong. That should be response. Save that. This comes lowercase letters. It doesn't become lowercase. Okay, it becomes lowercase here, but not under JSON. It does. So this code is good. Maybe I just need to run it once. And then grab. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing wrong. See no by the offset. Thanks for the follow. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. I hope you. I hope you're enjoying watching me struggle. Man, it's taking me an hour on this single question. It doesn't even seem that hard. Like, logically, it makes sense. Like, when I output here, it works. There you go. Capital. Uh, and then if I change that to something else, so if it's not uppercase, then I should know. Oh, I need to run, run it first, right? 
And that should be lowercase. There we go. It works. But it doesn't like it. Maybe I am misunderstanding the question. Let's read through again. If A equals uppercase, the response object should either be message hello, right? Or that, depending on the value. So right now it's upper one, two, three. So we, we're showing this, right? Wait a second, wait a second. No, I don't think that's an issue. Let's try Chrome. Not that it should make any difference. Yeah, hello. what I have and then so if we just change this to uppercase which is what it's looking for right say that yeah if it if it equals uppercase which it does now let's run it run the code okay go back here refresh this should not be capital. There we go. Hello, Jason. Yeah, so what's the problem? Why won't you like this? The response should should change and it does. But it just doesn't like it. I'm starting to think the test is broken because like isn't it doing what it's asking me to do? Man, am I am I just misunderstanding this? Like horribly misunderstanding this? So see no, what's going on? If you're still in the chat you can pull it game as I'm not winning anything there, so let's try and get a small win in the drop game. Nothing. It's just not my day today. Depending on the message underscore style, value message underscore style. Like, is it really just, I mean, Maybe the test looks for something specific, even though it works. So maybe I shouldn't be using a thing. Maybe it needs to check like, like this. Maybe. Let's just look at YouTube videos. I think there's a guy, useful programmer, he's pretty good. Useful programmer.
it's always different. I'm gonna guess that all this code, uh, JS and the front end. Internet for real, so we're getting practice actually already live application, and we're just going to copy the code over from this, and I'm just gonna write my app.js doesn't have that. This is how you manage node. We have a different node version, but I don't think that that's going to be a problem. Now it's released and you can find it here. So frozen ocean 5816, this guy right here. Now I'm pushing things. You've just got to keep trying stuff and commenting code out to see what's causing the, the uh, break. Uh, if you look over here, you'll see that um, the Heroku Hello friends, welcome back. Today, what we're going to do is continue with the APIs and microservices certification. We're gonna do a basic node and express. So we're doing the introduction first. Um, introduction. And so now let's go NPM it up so I just went through hello friends welcome back today we're going to use the dot env file first this is dot save and then you'll see that it pops up here so it basically is an automatic way to environment to specific variables to this in the moved express okay cool so now what i want to do is push this to our production this guy's in way more than must require and then you could say uppercase this would do the exact same thing this would just add it here i'm just uh, message style your app working if i copy this and i run it over to our initial face right here it says okay res the response object should become message hello json and so i can paste this here um this is actually the thing that i i think it should be successful okay not successful so um let's see we might be just need to be doing this differently uh, doing it So that's what I tried first, which didn't work. Doing it like this is not the, the best way to do this. What we could do, what we want to do is just JSON. So this is going to be kind of like the default value. And we're going to say, if I'm going to just get rid of this, if the process, well, I'll just copy it for now. And I'm just going to say, if this thing is equal to uppercase, if our environmental variable is equal to uppercase, then we're going to say, the JSON response dot message is equal to JSON response dot message. So that's going to come to be a, the hello JSON dot to upper case. Um, and then what we can do is instead of having the if condition and multiple JSON responses, we can just have this JSON respond with JSON response. And then we get rid of this else statement as well. And so, yeah, obviously this is a little bit cleaner <clears throat> and I mean, it even reads a little bit better. Um, let's, I want to just run this over to the node console real quick, just to see if that works. Um, first off we set the JSON response. So JSON response is equal to that. And then we have our process ENV file. We need to require this guy first in order to have access to it. And then we can say if we, if this, then JSON response to uppercase, and then we close bracket. So yeah, our JSON response becomes that. And so when we pass in JSON response, we'll get the message of hello world. Um, so yeah. I but like, that's that's exactly what I did though. Like not, not the same code, but that's what I've done. Have I not, like, cause this works, man. All right, let's try this thing. So, I mean, so I had placeholder, but he's actually put it in an object. So, um, 
All right, let's just try his thing. So let res so we we'll do let response JSON equals. Okay, whatever. Come in object with message. Okay, that's the lower case thing. So in here it's going to be response chase, yeah, and then an if statement. Does it need to be a? Is that what I'm? What I've been doing wrong? The var variable. Can you not use let in Node.js? I don't think that would be a problem. Different. Okay, whatever. Let's we'll try it. Um, we'll name it a var for now. that this will actually this might pass the test so i'm going to exit out of here but this might pass the test a little bit better and so now we're going to go get status we can see it's there get add get commit dash m um, adjust json api response uh, logic and so now we can just say git push heroku head master so we're pushing the code that's on this local machine to the production server and again we come over here we can watch <clears throat> the production server it's the build has started right now we're sending all this uh, code up to the thing <clears throat> if we check we can see that our environmental variable reveal in now if we say I've completed the challenge over here it's good That'll make no sense because um, his solution is exactly what I did, right? 
which didn't work and then I copied his I copied his um, thing because like this set is correct oh no like that should be working there's no reason reason why that should fail absolutely no reason Unless I'm, missing, <laughs> unless I'm missing something so clearly obvious. Like that should not be failing. Yeah, I got no idea, guys. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break. Uh, this is, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, because that should work, not working. I'm gonna take a quick break, think through, and uh, come back. So, thanks for hanging out. I will catch y'all soon.